hi everyone and welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make this delicious yam porridge using bell pepper this is a very simple recipe and it it's worth trying so let's continue So these are the ingredients you're going to be needing some fresh yam or frozen yam some stock cube fresh or dry peppers i actually use both onion salt vegetable oil or olive oil bell peppers garlic and uh, onion and that is my macro fish yes this fish is with macro so the macro i season the macro and debone them you don't want to add the bone inside that okay so now the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to blend that bell pepper i love to pre-cook my bell pepper before using them to cook reason is because it gives the food a very delicious taste and the colors are very wonderful okay this is why i love doing this you can actually blend yours fresh if you don't want to pre-cook them so i'm done blending the pepper and onion now i'm adding a bit of oil into my pan just enough to cook the bell pepper okay so i'm going to allow the oil to heat up a bit now i'm adding the onion i'm going to sustain the onion for a couple of minutes and while the onions are of sustaining i'm going to add a little bit of thyme just a pinch of thyme and mind you you can use red oil if that is what you wish to use okay Okay guys, after some minutes, I'm going to be adding my peppers inside here. Mind you, I blend this pepper with half onion and two cloves of garlic. You can add ginger inside as well or you can skip those. So I'm going to allow that peppers to fry or to cook for like 8 to 10 minutes on the medium heat. Okay, so while they're cooking, I'm going to throw in a little bit of um, cube, not full cube, just or just to taste if you are the type that love cooking with a lot of cubes you can throw as much as you want so this is past eight minutes i'm adding the mackerel fish inside if you don't want to debone your mackerel fish you can actually add them in whole but when kids are eating it you need to debone them so i'm adding after adding that i'm going to give them that quick stay test if the seasoning like the salt and the pepper are enough if they are enough just allow them to cook for a few more minutes like five minutes is enough okay okay this is about three to five minutes now i'm adding the yam i know you will say oh adding the yam without the water yes guys this gives your yam a very nice flavor it allows the yam to soak in the sauce okay you don't want to add water so give them a quick stir after stirring them i'm going to put the lid on on the medium heat and allow that yam to sit there on the sauce without water for like five to eight minutes Okay guys this is past five minutes it's time to stir the yam okay so after stirring them i'm going to now add the water this will also help you to control the amount of water you are adding into the yam okay so i'm going to add the water to be at the same level with the yam and the sauce stir everything together and put the lid on and allow them to cook and please while you're cooking do stir them regularly okay because you don't want that yam to burn my almost did that <laughs> So this is after some minutes i'm back again for the yam as you can see i'm just trying to blend like use my my spatula to 
basis that yam because the yams are soft right now and i'll be adding a little bit more water because i love my porridge yam to be a little bit liquidy so that water wasn't enough i added extra water into it and basically the yam is cooked right now so what i'm going to be adding now is the last ingredient that will be going into that yam or if you like yours dry you don't have to add the water all you need to do is to add the vegetable inside the yam which is spinach and scent leaf the combination of spinach and scent leaf into your yam take your porridge yam to the next level you can use ugo leaf or any vegetables of your choice but if you mix any of them with scent leaf guys come back to thank me so after adding that i'm going to stir them put the the heat down to the lowest like to the lowest and allow that uh yam to soak in the taste of that scent leaf and voila our food is ready guys you need to give this yam a try you will love it like you will this is the recipe you've never tried before guys give it a try if you like this video please share and subscribe and hit smash that like button okay to show me that you love this recipe thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my on my next one god bless you bye